The results of the presidential election are still not decisive tonight, as millions of votes have yet to be counted. In Michigan, President Trump's campaign casting doubt over the integrity of some of those ballots. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez is in Wilmington, Delaware, breaking it all down for us right now in our top story at 5. With millions of ballots left to be counted, the president falsely claiming victory and promising a legal battle. Today, his campaign saying they filed a suit in state court in Michigan to stop ballot counting there, claiming the campaign hasn't been given meaningful access to some counting locations. And last night, the president going even further. We'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at four o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? Legal experts say at this point, the Supreme Court will not get involved in the way the president wants. And cases will only reach the Supreme Court after lower courts have ruled. In Pennsylvania, the decision to allow ballots mailed on or before election day to be counted if they arrive by Friday, still facing legal challenges and the potential of being escalated to the Supreme Court, which the state's attorney general believes shouldn't happen. Once ballots in this election are all tallied, the count in some states could be so tight it would likely trigger automatic recounts. In others, the candidates can request them, which we're already seeing in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Though the votes are still being tallied, President Trump's campaign manager writes in a statement that they have serious doubts about the validity of the results there, adding the president is well within the threshold to request a recount and we will immediately do so. The Biden legal team, meanwhile, responded to President Trump's comments from last night, saying they are prepared to defend the vote and make sure every eligible ballot is counted. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Wilmington, Delaware.